Oh boy, can't wait to get back to the base. Happy needs me. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Wow. That's really tall. Evening. JD's and Littleman. Uh, time for another plush review. Haven't done that in a while. So I decided to remake Clyde because I think it's quite obvious based off the original that it, it needed a revamp. His other foot fell off. He's very small. He's made out of felt. And well, honestly, as you can see by all this scarfing on the, on the arms, I didn't do a good job sewing the arms up. And, you know, it's kind of still peeking over. I couldn't even cover my mistakes well. So let's start with the old one. So this is Clyde. He's Happy's right-hand man, which is funny because he has a very strong right hand. And, um, well, his brother's the Red Moon guy, if I can find him. This is his brother, which doesn't make any damn sense. They look nothing alike. But yeah, basically, he's a robot. A really strong one at that. Mainly for excavation and construction, but like, you know... The model was thrown out, and then this one ended up on Happy's doorstep, and he still uses him to this day. That, that's the lore behind him. I, I made this guy because I, I made a square wrong, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to waste it, so let's just make it a head. And then I made the rest of the body. And, um, you know, for the time, like, I wasn't good at making plushes back then, but this is pretty good considering my skill level at the time. Uh, I'm really proud of the legs. I, I like how fat they are, but again, it's still made out of felt. And for anybody watching who wants to make plushes, do not use felt. Do not use felt. It is really rough. It picks up hair really easily. And it's also just bad in general. Use fleece because this one's made out of fleece. And as you can see, very different. Very different. See how fuzzy that one is and see how good that one is? So it's, it's very different. Felt isn't bad all the time. All right, I'm recording this after finishing the video. Basically, just if you want to make guns or, or accessories, use felt. But if you're making the base of a plush, please use fleece. You'll be doing yourself a huge favor. Felt is good for pointy edges and making shapes. Like, not not like sewing into shapes, but like stacking them on top of each other. Like, like how I made this gun for, for that guy, all right? I used fleece for this. I shouldn't have. I should have used felt because felt is better when it comes to making shapes like this because there's a lot of points. But don't, don't use felt for, for things like this, okay? Use it, use it for things like this. So for its time, it was a pretty good plush. I, I'm, I'm very proud of past me for making the best out of a bad situation. And now, let's get on to the remake. This pattern was pretty difficult. This, this one, it, it was hard to get the shape right. So I took those swooshes on the side, you can see right there, and said, you know what, that, that's his hood now. So yeah, he's got this uh, cool little little shape for a head. Uh, it kind of sucks because it's hard to see from certain angles, so it looks like his head is just a circle. And if you turn it too much this way, I don't know, it just looks dumb in certain angles. As you can see, I deviated from the original design. I made his whole lower body red, and I gave him this little symbol instead of all three of those. Younger me had a thing for symbols, I don't know. I guess I just really hated looking at a bear, like, a uh, plush. I just needed to add details to it, but that ultimately is why that one's so bad. And, uh, you know, obviously I got his arm, and it's obviously his coolest feature, and I'm so proud of it, and I, I like, I actually, um, I have pipe cleaners in between these two pieces, so you can actually pose them. If, yeah. So they're not just locked in that position. They, they can be moved and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, the, the most uh, obvious feature is that he is much, much, much bigger than the original. Now, that was intentional and also wasn't intentional. Like, I definitely wanted him to be bigger than the original. I just didn't want him to be this much bigger than the original. That's why I always measure your stuff, kids. I didn't because I'm lazy. Like, if I go get happy, hold on, let me just... There he is. <laughs> if I get happy, uh, even with the top hat, he's still not taller, so I think it's funny that his right-hand man is way bigger than him. That's just funny to me. F*** out of here. I'm actually kind of surprised that this whole thing only took, like, two days, which... Honestly, it's mostly because he doesn't have a lot of details on him. Like, he's, he's a pretty bare plush. But, uh, yeah, that two days, not that bad. 
As you can see, I very much deviated from the original design. I changed the hand, I changed the whole lower body, and I definitely changed the head. Like, the eyeballs are very much thinner than the original. But I think that deviating from the original design was exactly why this one is so much better. Because, you know, it's, it's not just a carbon copy, it is really a remake. It is a true, unbridled remake, and I'm very proud of myself for it. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, still working on that PC. Haven't gotten it yet, but I'm getting close. Uh, make sure to dislike and unsubscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, shit. Bye.